Nye Rothensh, Taryn Jaiwasser. So we just received our press samples of Samsung's new Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge smartphones. We believe these devices are a significant design departure from Samsung's previous models. We're pretty excited to get these phones into our labs and start testing them to see how they stack up against the Samsung Galaxy S5, which is currently our highest rated smartphone, and Apple's iPhone 6. Let's go to the lab now. But we won't be testing these samples. No, we wait to test the exact same models you can buy in the store. In fact, we buy ours in the store too. That's how we can guarantee we're having the same experience as you do while shopping. We're particularly interested to find out if the changes Samsung made to its latest model will help it or hurt it in our ratings, like the updated quick charging and wireless charging options, which we'll be testing, and its sleek new design, which may well have come at a cost, since it now has no removable battery and no card slot to expand storage for the extra apps, photos, and music you collect. You'll start seeing plenty of S6 reviews out there soon, but our rigorous testing takes time. A few weeks, in fact. We cover 10 different areas for all cell phones we test, such as battery life. Battery life is one area where the Galaxy S5 performed better than the iPhone 6 in our ratings. To test the battery, we drain it using the phone's display and cell signals with this cool base station simulator. And to test voice quality, we employ this lovely lady. Nye Rothensh, Darren Jaiwasser. She's a head and torso simulator. Arndinus, set digit, Arndinus. We also look at ease of use, messaging, web browsing, display quality, and video and image quality on the camera. So if you're weighing your options on buying a new phone, you might want to see which one holds our coveted top spot when this round of testing is done.